Hey guys, Jesse Jason Black Fork Lawn and Stoke. Today we're going to be pruning some uh, older knockout rose bushes. There's not a whole life left in these, so we're going to see what we can get out of them. We're going to prune them down a little bit, but hope, hope for uh, good results back in the uh, this coming spring. It's about Today's, uh, it's coming towards the end of February, so now's a good time to get out there and start pruning. These have been neglected for years, so we're gonna try to bring some of these back. We're gonna get rid of some of the dead that's in them. The crossing branches, we're gonna try to eliminate the disease. And this spring, we're gonna end up planting a couple more newer roses in it. So you're more than welcome to come with us. Hit that like button, hit that show subscribe. Show you what we got, show you what we're working with. See all the dead that's in this. We're gonna take a lot of the dead out. We still got some green and a tip well, we want our we want our conical, like our conical shape, to come up with our bushes. So we're going to eliminate a lot of it, but still got some still got some growth. And before we get started, I want to let you know, like these, these are you cut away from the butt eye. So you'll see the butt eye cut away from cut away from the butt eye. So I'll show you that as we prune. Here, here's your red butt eye. Can you see that? Yeah, red butt eye. So when we cut. If we cut above that, this is the way it's it's gonna grow out that way. So when you prune, make sure that butt eye is facing the way that you want your rose to bloom. By pruning roses, uh, a lot of people overthink it and they think it's a lot harder than what it actually is. It's actually super easy. Uh, we're in a cold season climate. Uh, this is the middle Ohio region. And you want to prune them before, about six weeks before the last frost. So we're towards the end of February. March is around the corner. These are going to be coming into bloom this summer. So we want to hurry up and get. We, we want to treat them now, and while while they're still dormant. So, but roses, don't overthink it. Uh, you can't prune them too much. They actually, roses like to be pruned often. Now, I don't. Roses like to be pruned often but just start by removing all your dead out of it and then we'll start making our cuts now this plant we're going to take it down we're going to take both of them down pretty low to give them room to come back up and we're going to take out as much dead as as we can and we're going to try to give these plants the best chance of life to come back and like i said uh this summer the late spring we're going to come back and we're going to put in two new smaller roses and we're probably going to in the next few years revamp this whole landscape We got a lot of the dead out of it now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start topping everything, but we want to get that we want to get that big V shape. So we're gonna to cut towards the outward facing butt eye. And what I'll show you what an outward facing butt eye is because where your butt eye is, that's where you want to cut right above that. So the next butt eye, that's gonna be where your next shoot comes out. Plant to come in. So if you can see right here, here's your butt eye that's facing the inside. So the plant is gonna grow that way once we cut this top. So however you want your, however you want to form your plant, that's the way it's gonna be. But I'm not gonna cut up that high, I'm gonna go down lower, just kind of trying to give you an example of what we're talking about. But when you cut it at 45 degree angle, that's so the rain can just run off of it. Um, it's not that big of an issue is what you think, but it is smart because you don't want your plants to get diseases. You want to take out any crossing branches. You don't want, you don't want any stems. Let's see how this one's laying on top of it. We're going to cut that. We're going to cut these back. So, but you can prune these pretty aggressively and you're not going to mess them up. Don't overthink it.
that's all there is to it, guys. Rose bushes are, are super, super simple. A lot of people overthink them. They like to be pruned. They like to be cut back, and, and they're easy to be maintained. There's a lot of dead in this, and the homeowner was, was going to take them all out, and I proposed to her that maybe we should just try to revamp them and see what happens. So we're also going to put some new ones in in the spring for any homeowners out there. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can contact your local landscaper, or you can contact me if I'm in your area, Black Fork, Lawn and Snow. But there's no reason that homeowners can't uh, prune, prune and trim their, their own. There's no reason that a homeowner can't do this themselves. It's super easy. A lot of people just over overthink it. Just get out there and start cutting and form your, form your plants the way that you want them to be formed. And it's Perfect simple. example about when you're putting your landscape in, get yourself enough room. This is a uh, I believe they're mop head or gold mop. They're gold mop cypresses, and they were planted too close to the house. We got two of them here, and there's nothing you can do with them. They need to be. They need to be. They need to be taken out. Now I'm sure when these were getting put in, that it looked really pretty. We're just gonna kind of take it down, make it like a little ball, and kind of form it a little bit. It's getting to be. A little tall and a, and a little big for its area. We're just going to kind of shrink it back in a little bit. This has been in for a long time. Plants are really resilient. A lot of people, a lot of homeowners are, are really nervous that they're going to kill these plants. They're really If they've been in the ground for a while, they're going to come back. They'll be all right. 